Good morning and congratulations. Mm -hmm. Scott, let me begin with you. Tell us the story of Stump because he almost died when he was, what, in, in 2004? He had a bacterial infection that took them um, 19 days to figure out. Wow. And now he's good. There you go. And in, in dog years, <laughs> how, how old is he really? In human years? You yeah, mean? right. Yeah, how old is he in human years? Yeah, because in dog years, I'd be dead. But, uh, <laughs> he's, he's 10 years old on the calendar, but right. in human years, that's what? We can call it 70. It might be a little bit more. But yeah. So that's, uh, is that kind of ancient? To, to he's the oldest dog by two years ever to go best in show at Westminster. Wow. So, David, what stood out about him? First of all, he's a great specimen of his breed. As a, as a Sussex Spaniel, they're supposed to be long, low, and level, and he is very long, as you can see from the pictures. Uh, he's got this beautiful headpiece. He's a, a dog of substance. He has to push his way through the underbrush as a flushing Spaniel. Is so that what his job is? That's what is he that does. What his job he's is? a sporting dog. Yes, yeah. he won the sporting He also won the sporting group at Westminster in 2004. Okay, so, so he was not unfamiliar off. to the surroundings. That's has right. this breed won Best in Show before? Never right? has. He made history last night not only the oldest dog, but also the first Sussex Spaniel ever to win it. Mm. Wow. Scott, as his trainer, what is his life like when he wakes up in the morning? Like, how, <laughs> how does he get to be best in show? Um, how much is he groomed? How, what does he eat? He gets bathed, you know, every week. And when you show him, you have to, you know, you wash him every morning and blow him all dry. This, um, you know what? I've, I've watched the Westminster a lot and pay a lot of attention to dog shows. I'm not sure I've ever I know this breed at all. What is it? Where is he from? What's his background? What's his deal? And you know what? Stand him up a little bit so people can see. Come here, baby. They're, they're somewhat of a rare breed, Harry. They're, they've been near extinction a couple of times and had to be repopulated in this country. They're from England, from the UK, of course. And, uh -huh. um, it takes the dedicated people who understand the breed and understand uh, the challenges with this breed. You know, they're not for everybody. And <laughs> so, however, this is a friendly, happy dog, and probably this morning at the Sussex Club of America, the phone's ringing off the hook <laughs> from people who think they because should last have a dog year here. the sales of Beagle Scott. Same thing right. happens. That's and right. Are there, are there enough of these dogs around to meet the demand? I'm think? sure there are not, <laughs> but I think also the, the parent clubs and responsible breeders everywhere spend time convincing people not only of the good things about the breed, but also the things that may not make them the right breed for you. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Last quick question. Would you want to go live at the White House? <laughs> <laughs> Scott Summer, David Fry, and Stump. Congratulations, Stump, you cute, soft, adorable thing. Want to come to my house? <laughs>